Hey everyone, today's video will be around some useful console commands that everyone should be familiar with. Uh, this video will be broken down in a few segments, starting with the most basic, most practical commands, and then ending with some really absurd commands with no real practical purpose. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is to be able to access the developer console in the first place. So to do this, go to your main menu, then go to the options, and then at the bottom of that menu, click on advanced, and then enable it. And just like that, now you can open it up using the tilde key and closing it using the same key. The first command is for your FOV. Use the command FOV underscore desired 90, which allows you to see the maximum of what is possible. After that, the next command is view model underscore FOV 90, and what this does is just change the distance your gun is from your screen. And note that you can change these numbers to whatever you'd like, but these are the values that most people prefer, so if you don't like the distance your gun is from your screen, don't be afraid to mess around a little bit to get these values to your preference. And also, there's a lot of other really useful commands involving your FOV that I will not be going over in this video, but I did make a video explaining them all, including how to minimize them or even how to disable them entirely, so go ahead and click that notification in the upper right hand corner if that's something that interests you. This next section of console commands are generally allowed on all servers, including official Valve servers and most community servers. The first one up is the basic bind command. This is so you can just, with a click of a button, cause something to happen. In this example, I will be using no clip. Type in bind, then the key that you want it to be bound to, and then type your command. You can also set another bind to disable the bind that you just made, or you can use the bind toggle command to have it all set into one key. To do this, type in bind toggle, all one word, then the key that you want, then your command. Now, whenever you click that key, your game will automatically toggle the command on and off. This next command is on how to automatically say stuff in chat. Use the command bind, then the key that you want, and then within quotation marks, type say, followed by what you want it to say. Uh, in this example, you can see that I will be using my favorite slur. Alternatively, if you would like to say something only your team can see, you can use the command bind, then the key that you want, say underscore team, then what you want to say. But remember, this command does not have to be used to annoy everyone in the game with you. If you're playing Medic, for example, being able to alert your team that you have a full uber charge and to go ahead and push in can be very useful at times. The next one is a classic and personally a favorite of mine. You've probably seen people do this all the time, and that's have a kill bind set up. To do this, type in bind, then the key that you want it to be bound to, and then kill. Or alternatively, type explode. Uh, just be sure that this bind is far away from anything that you would normally press. The next command is HUD underscore combat text underscore batching 1. And what this essentially does is show the number of damage you did added all together and not in individual numbers, making knowing how much damage you did easy to recognize, allowing you to roughly know how much more damage you will need to do in order to finish off your target. If you ever wanted to disable your chat for a cleaner display or to just get rid of that one kid who still thinks it's funny to spam chat, uh, you can use the command HUD underscore say text underscore time and then how many seconds you want it to be, zero if you want it to be disabled entirely. And to go along with that command, to disable voice chat, you can use the command voice underscore enable zero and just change that zero to a one if you would like to turn it back on. And remember, any of these commands can be set to a bind and therefore to a toggle bind. So you could use the command bind toggle, the key that you want, voice underscore enable to easily disable and re-enable voice chat on the fly without having to memorize this command. This next section of commands are not going to be all that useful for general play, but can be very useful whenever you're practicing. To begin, go to a private lobby, which you can do if you're using the default HUD by going to the find a game button and then clicking on the create a server option at the very bottom. 
Once you are in a private lobby, type the command sv underscore cheats1. What this does is allow you to use any command, and will be very necessary if you want any of the following commands to work properly. First thing that I like to do is to disable the respawn times, which you can easily do by using the command mp underscore disable underscore respawn underscore times 1. Then, to keep the match going for however long you want, you can use the command mp underscore tournament 1. Next, if you want to keep from going back to the spawn room, you can use the command impulse 101. What this does is refresh your character's health, ammo, and charges. Personally, what I do to keep from having to type the command over and over again is use the command bind mouse 1 plus attack semicolon impulse 101. So now every time that you left click, you have everything refreshed. But now, if you need more health than what is default, you can use the command hurt me and then just a really big negative number. Uh, this command does have a limit, so if you do go above it by mistake, it will just kill you. So don't go too far. This next command is very convenient, especially whenever I'm practicing a new jump and I don't want to have to run all the way back to the starting position to retry. The first step is typing git pause, which you can see spits out this long string of numbers. Just copy that and then type in set pause followed by that string of numbers. You could use the up arrow to re-enter the command, or you can also set a bind, but for me personally, I don't see the point of going through the effort to create a bind for it, as I'm rarely practicing for long enough for it to be really all that worth it. Another command for practicing that I like to use whenever I'm trying out a new difficult jump is host underscore timescale point five to make the world go half speed, making jumps far easier, or to bump it up to two to make the world go double the speed. Personally, I like to do that whenever I play Scout, as whenever I go back to the normal time scale, Scout feels far more manageable. This next section is for bots. Uh, some maps don't really work well with bots, and if you are planning on using bots to practice, I would recommend that you don't even bother with official maps and go ahead and download a practice specific map such as TR Walkway, which I did make a video on, which teaches you how to download, install, and properly use the map. Link in the description to that video. But anyway, the first command that I like to use whenever I'm using bots is mp underscore team underscore unbalance underscore limit zero and mp underscore auto balance zero, which are both self-explanatory. If you want to keep the bots from changing into a random class after they die, you can also use the command tf underscore bot underscore keep underscore class underscore after underscore death one. To add bots, type in tf underscore bot underscore add, then the number of bots that you want, then the class that you want the bots to be, and then what team you want the bots to be on. Then, if you mess up or just don't want to have the bots in your server anymore, you can use the command mp underscore bot underscore kick all, or you can just use the name of the specific bot if you want to kick just one. Now if you want to keep the bots from being able to do damage to you, you can disable their ability to shoot with the command tf underscore bot underscore fire underscore weapon underscore allowed zero. Now, these following commands are not useful at all, but can be really fun to mess around with, so I feel like they should be mentioned anyway. First one up is recreating that video of the rotating heavy. To do this, all you have to do is use the bind command. Bind, then the key that you want, plus right, or plus left if you want to rotate the other way. This next command is a mouthful, so bear with me. CL underscore first underscore person underscore uses underscore world underscore model one. It's fun to mess around for a little bit, but for some reason it makes me really uncomfortable. To disable this command, all you have to do is retype the same command or click the up arrow to go back to your previous commands and change the one to a zero. Now, these following commands are absolutely ridiculous and I'll give you guys all the privilege of exploring them for yourself, but they are the addcon commands, uh, which all they do is require you to type in addcon and then just a number. Uh, they can do some really ridiculous things though, so listen to some of the more interesting ones in the pinned comment. And that about does it. Uh, this video required a good bit of research, so leaving a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated, as I'm really close to hitting a thousand subscribers, and it would be really cool to hit such a milestone. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. 
Uh, let's see. 